welcome everyone in this video lecture we will solve a gate 2017 question which is based on the eigen value calculation in a five cross five matrix so in this question we have to find the eigen value so we have to think first about the matrix the matrix is given as 1 2 3 4 5 and it have five rows and five columns and in each row and column the elements are same so suppose in the first row 1 2 3 4 5 other elements then the second row also the same elements are there but in different positions similarly we can say for columns 1 or 2 or 3 the same number of elements are available in each column but in different positions so we have to find the eigen value so in this question first of all we have to go with the very fundamental concept for the calculation of eigen value that is our a minus lambda i equals to 0 so we will use this concept first so our matrix is a is 1 2 3 4 5 so we have to write a minus lambda i so a is the matrix lambda is the eigen value i is the identity matrix so if we write so i am just writing the matrix so a minus lambda i so one can directly write this as a 1 minus lambda then other one will be 2 3 4 5 it is very easy question but we have to know the simple facts how to solve no need to go for the 5 cross 5 eigen value calculation using traditional method okay so now what we can write only the diagonal matrix diagonal matrix will change 1 minus lambda then it should be 2 3 4 we have to write this only then 4 5 then 1 minus lambda 2 3 then 3 4 5 1 minus lambda only the diagonal matrix will be minus lambda okay so it should be again 2 3 4 5 1 minus lambda okay this one is the matrix okay this one is the different different columns we can say 1 column 2 column 3 okay this one is one column we can say okay so 1 2 3 4 5 this one so this one is different different columns as c1 column c2 column c3 c4 c5 column and this one is say r1 r2 r3 r4 and r5 column okay i am also this different different columns are there okay so now just think if we think in such situation if we sum either each row or each column the it will give the same value suppose so in such situation we have to either go for row transformation transformation or column transformation so the first thing that i am going to change if we change the row r1 when the row r1 is changed to r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 plus r5 okay it will give some value clear means r1 we are changing with r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 and r5 so what we can do okay so first we are just adding r1 row with this plus this plus this r3 r4 r5 so if we add all together it should be 2 and 3 5 9 9 14 and 15 so it should be 
15 minus lambda okay then again if we add this whole term it will give the same value because same elements are there same elements in distributed manner so it should be again 50 minus lambda again for the third position also 15 minus lambda 15 minus lambda and 15 minus lambda okay in each position of this row particular row r1 okay this one is 15 this one is 15 minus lambda okay so now now the next one will be simply 5 1 minus lambda 2 3 4 then 4 5 1 minus lambda 2 3 then 3 4 5 1 minus lambda and 2 then 2 3 4 5 1 minus lambda equals to we can write it 0 because a minus lambda equals to 0 so okay so this we can write by using row transformation now i am doing only the row transformation okay it doesn't mean that uh, you have to only do with the r1 one can one can also do with r2 r2 change with r2 plus r1 plus r3 plus r4 plus r5 then if we do then the second row will be 15 minus lambda like that okay so you can do it for anyone okay so now what we can do now from this information we can easily write 15 minus lambda if we take common from row r1 then it will be 1 1 1 1 1 okay clear and then the other term will be same 5 1 minus lambda 2 3 4 and we have to write the other row 2 3 4 i am writing the last row fifth row equals to 0 and in the question it, it is given clearly a has only one real value so we have to just think about 15 minus lambda so if we uh, equate 15 minus lambda to 0 it will give the value of lambda as a 15 value okay so this one is the one way to solve this type of simple question okay so the lambda value will be 15 so our answer is definitely c 15 okay now as i told we can change either through row transformation column transformation or if we the another way of doing this we can change the same column say c1 column say c1 column will be changed to c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus c4 plus c5 if we do this for this one okay then we have to add 5 plus 4 3 9 12 13 14 15 15 minus lambda in this position c1 position then after it should be 2 3 4 5 and again for the other one also it should be 15 minus lambda 1 minus lambda dot 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 i am not writing similarly for the third one also it should be if we add all together it should be 15 minus lambda 15 minus lambda 15 minus lambda and i am not writing this one 5 4 3 okay no need to write for other one okay for just as a practice i am doing so now this can be again we can write as 15 minus lambda and this one 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 and one and the other matrix we have to write okay other term other term sorry so equals to zero so again 15 minus lambda equals to zero so lambda value will be 15 okay so this one is the very simple trick to solve the question by using the fundamental concept a minus lambda i okay but we have to take care of row transformation and column transformation and if some this type of matrix of higher order four plus four six plus six and the elements is same in each row and column so just think about this concept 
where you have to use row transformation or column transformation. So using this concept, we can easily find the eigenvalue. And this, as I told, this C1, one can also change C2 value, okay, C2 value to C2 plus C1 plus C3 plus C4 plus C5. So in this case, column 2 will come 15 minus lambda, okay, and this should be our 1 minus lambda, 5, 4, like that. So this one is one way to take some common from some particular one okay so you can do like that also so but better to do in such a manner so it will quite easier okay in this case also you, you have to write then we have to shift here okay by any means we have to shift uh, position of the row by some technique simple technique or matrix property then you can also write the lambda value and it should be just the way to how to solve this type of question so this is all about the simple question regarding the 5 plus 5 matrix eigenvalue calculation okay so thank you for watching this video